in a massive twist the, in the NCP saga playing out in Maharashtra, uh, where, as I said, uncle and founder of the party, Sharad Pawar, is locked in a tussle with his nephew, Ajit Pawar, for control. It now emerges that Ajit Pawar had held a meeting on the 30th of June, that's two days before his coup, and uh, which was on the 2nd of July, and uh, had already removed Sharad Pawar as president of the NCP. Sources in the rebel faction say they mentioned this in their letter to the Election Commission in which they've staked claim to the party name and election symbol. Ajit Pawar was made president on the 30th and then on the 2nd is when it went public and he was sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Uh, he claims around uh, 40 MLAs, MPs and MLCs had signed affidavits uh, that day supporting the rebels uh, which the commission received according to sources as we mentioned. Now there was a parallel show of strength today in Mumbai, uh, that's, the, uh, that's what we were reporting through the day where we saw uh, both the NCP factions uh, holding these meetings. Uh, but the majority number of MLAs were with Ajit Pawar, though it was not enough to claim that two-thirds majority. Sharad Pawar said the party name and symbol would remain with him and even pointed out that his picture was the largest at Ajit Pawar's meeting. This while Ajit Pawar hit out at his uncle uh, about his age, saying that he's 83 and should make way. आज कई लोग कई वासने की माजेव देवी कई बोले मैं बोलता हूँ एक सदस्य संगत होती कि हमसे गुरु है तुम्हें आज जब हमसे कई विचार से कि वे इधर कई वैसे जाली मेरा वाला था ना क्या सगे सब अच्छे वाचे फोटो हो गए थे क्या फोटो सगे तो अच्छा फोटो होता है माजा आज मुंबई में देखो जा अनेक ठिकानी फोटो लगी तेरा फोटो मारा क्या ना वहीं थे कि आपसे नाने सांगर नहीं क्या मुझे नाने साले कि सांगर से नाने घिसर भाई गए कि चंचल नाने सर नहीं खान के ना वाजत नहीं कि नहीं लोग को ये कि क्या मुझे लोगों के साथ से लाऊं चाका चाहे ठिकानी फोटो मित्रानो, मित्रानो, आज स्वतः अपने वरिष्ठ नेते सवान सायबांचा समाधि लगी ले, ठीक है सवान सायब अपने सागर से दायित्व है, बाजा करने पर कोर्सुस गालियों की, मैं एक दिवस सकाई सात तेरे संध्या का ही आठ परिंत तिता न पानी पिता न कई करता बसले लो तो पलाते खूब मनाला लागले होता परंतु मित्रानों का अताजर वही जास्त झाला बैंशी झाला त्रेंशी झाला तुम्हीं कभी थमना रात का नहीं तुम्हीं आशीर्वाद दिया ना क्या जा सदर्भ में दे आमला वट्टा तुम्हीं शतायुष्य भाव लोकना आई झाला असर टीवी वाले मंटा तुम्हीं कभी आरोप करत नहीं अन्य मैं कभी करना रही नहीं। माजा आगे बातचीत आता नहीं, आयकना आता ताल। कि कई लोकन सब मन्ने हैं, कि कई लोकन सब वह जाले। तेरे मले ते नहीं फक्ता आशीर्वाद दावे। कहाँ बरा आशीर्वाद दावे? रतन टाटा, साईबान पेक्षा तीन वर्ष नहीं मोटे। आज यही टाटा ग्रुप पोट तीर्की नहीं लड़ता, अन्य सगलेक शैंशी ते चार नंतर सीरम इंस्टीट्यूट घेत लगा ना इंजेक्शन साइरस पुना वाला तो वाई का है 84 साइबन चंच पाटिल का कंचे वाई चेत एक वर्गा तो ते सगले कितनी 84 ते चार नंतर अमिताभ बच्चन कितनी वाई 82 आज कुटली जायरत लगता ना सगले त पॉपुलर नाम कौन है अमिताभ बच्चन वाई कितनी 82 तेजा नंतर इंग्रजी वाला नाम आई थे वॉरेन बफेट अरे सबसे देखो तो फारुक अब्दुल्ला साईबान पेक्षा तीन वर्ष नहीं मोटे माला परमी पर माला भी चला रे क्या हो रहा है एनसीपी में पंडल अंकल ऐसे ऐसे हो रहा है अरे लड़ले मैं तो शरद से तीन साल बड़ा हूँ मैं लड़ रहा हूँ शरद को बोल मेरे तरह तू भी कि तुम्ही घरी बसा न आशीर्वाद या मामी पूरी परवड़ लाओ
Well, let's now go across uh, to our reporters and Sohit, first to you, as we've been saying through the day, the numbers uh, seem to be with Ajit Pawar, 29 MLAs uh, came to his meeting and now also the news emerging that he had already removed his uncle and made himself party president on the 30th of June. Uh, well, that's right, and uh, the message has been shared by Ajit Pawar himself. But 29 is the number that he has, and that is what we have been reporting since day one, as our sources have been saying. But this 29 number is not enough, Gargi, if we talk about this entire issue. Because if the number that he has behind him on such a crucial day is 29, then that means he does not have the two-thirds uh, uh, faction of the MLAs that he requires. And this is a small win for Sharad Pawar, because if that is the case, then uh, there will be anti-defection law that will be used against Rajit Pawar and his MLAs. In fact, as we all know, there is a legal issue that is going on. And yes, as you rightly mentioned, now Ajit Pawar has said that uh, he is the party president and uh, he has sent this letter on 30th of June, the very same day when he resigned from the post of the leader of opposition. Now, this has been done in a very technical move because they know what were the observations made by the Supreme Court in the Ekna Shinde faction. But if you are saying that Sharad Pawar is no more the party president, and on the same hand, when you are doing or addressing the press conference as well as the entire uh, uh, meeting that happened, the biggest photo behind Ajit Pawar was of Sharad Pawar. So what exactly does Ajit Pawar want to portray? And let me tell you, when we are speaking to the people as well as the workers over here, that statement of Ajit Pawar where he said, you are 83 years old, now you should go and take some rest, That is that did not go well among the masses. And I am sure that in the days uh, ahead, Ajit Pawar will make a clarification on that because that is something that won't go well, especially across the NCP uh, workers, uh, the cadres who are with Ajit Pawar or with uh, uh, Sharad Pawar because all of them have a different uh, set of respect for Sharad Pawar altogether. So that is one part, but yes, this is all now a legal battle that is going to be fought. In fact, even where I am present, this is the Yashwant Rao Chavan Auditorium where we saw a huge uh, crowd in the morning and since morning people were present, there was a similar thing that we saw uh, during the entire uh, Shiv Sena rebellion, uh, affidavits were being signed over here as well and now people are saying we are with uh, Sharad Pawar. In fact, three of, uh, two of the MLAs and one MP who, was present, who were present at the meeting that was called by Ajit Pawar on Sunday ahead of the oath taking ceremony and one MP and one MLA in fact were present at the oath taking ceremony but they have also joined Sharad Pawar. And one thing which will also become a technical issue ahead is that these MLAs have been saying that we weren't given any idea on what paper are we signing. And now we come to know that that was an affidavit. So right. how will this go in the Supreme Court or in the election commission will be very important to see. But yes, there is a huge and a long uh, battle that is uh, which will be fought in both the Election Commission of India, the Supreme Court, as well as a decision will be taken by the Speaker of Maharashtra Assembly as well.